Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly, and I have an unbelievable one for you today because once again, the SBA has completely let us down on something, and I'm going to go through it in great detail with you. And uh, there's a lot of people that have written me about this thing, and I'm going to go through it <laughs> from beginning to end. Uh, before I do, please take a second to like the video. Please hit the subscribe button, bell notifications to get notified of everything we're doing. And uh, let's get into it. The SBA, since the pandemic started, let's face it, you know, they've been behind on everything. Now, if they were sitting here, they were doing the best we can. It's ridiculous, okay? They have let us down in the EIDL loans. The thing was set up. It was mandated through statute and through Congress that we were all going to get this money with the $10,000 grant. It was going to be the first 1 million businesses. And then it was arbitrarily changed because, well, they felt like it, okay? So once again, they finally decide they're going to extend the grant money and give everybody the grant money. And, uh, oh, no, it's only for low and poor income businesses. But wait, don't worry. We're going to give this money out to you very fast. Uh, we're going to send letters out to you that are eligible. You're going to have three weeks uh, once we receive your application for an answer. Once we get that, you will get the money funded within three weeks as well. Well, that hasn't happened again. Okay. Now, in late December, there was a, a, a mandate to save our stages, which is started with Broadway and places like that. Well, it extended save our stages extended to concert venues, sports venues, musical venues, um, small clubs, playhouses, things like that. It also extended to people like me that put on conferences. Yippee, okay? We were, we were very happy. We were going to be able to um, get a grant that would help us get back on our feet and get the companies restarted. And it was a myriad of different companies were available for this. It was like I said, conferences, uh, concert venues, uh, stages, stadiums, and you could get very simple. Based on your 2019 uh, tax return, you could get 45% of your gross sales as a grant for your business. Not a loan, a grant. So the beauty of this is that it was a substantial amount of money. And they, they capped it at $10 million for these companies. So if you have, you know, Dodger Stadium or somebody like that, they're gonna get no more than $10 million. Now, when you think of big concert venues and places like that, you're gonna have a myriad of, of, of money. But, you know, as I drove through uh, last week through downtown Los Angeles, we looked at the Pantages and we were talking about, wow, they're gonna get that grant money, okay? Anyways, this was supposed to open in January. Well, as you know, it's not January anymore. They finally were going to open this up on April 8th. And it's been delay after delay after delay after delay. But they also made a change to where people like me that were event promoters, okay, uh, were not eligible for this. Well, because I don't do singing. I don't do certain entertainment. How they're not going to get sued for this, I don't know. I spoke to a lawyer about this who doesn't think it's right on Thursday, and he thinks that they're gonna have real litigation from this. So I digress, okay? The portal opens up on Thursday at noon Eastern time. An absolute unmitigated fiasco from the second it opens up. You have to understand there are businesses that have been waiting for this thing, and 45% of their gross revenue is gonna make these places whole. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna read a bunch of the names of these places that would have gotten two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars quickly. Okay, and again, January. Now we're in April. Okay, so there's, you know, when's it going to be? When's it going to be released? When's it going to be released? It's finally released on April eighth. The portal is completely broken. The idiots that they hired, the company that set up the website, because they set up a separate website for this, and uh, um, couldn't upload documents. Uh, you could register. You could put your name in as a interest list, but that's it. You couldn't do anything. Nobody could apply. And, uh, well, let me see if we can fix the glitch. They couldn't fix the glitch. So by 4.15 Eastern time, they shuttered it. They shut the whole program down again. So people, this is another example of what a complete disaster the SBA is on running things. They don't know how to run a business. They don't care about you and me. They don't care about 
people like us that have to earn a living uh, doing things like promoting conferences and things like that. So again, um, you know, there are so many people that, you know, out of Nashville, out of New York, out of LA, small towns, playhouses that were waiting for this money and they're getting nothing. And again, the SBA has blown it. The SBA needs to turn over all the loans and all the grants to a third party. They have to do that now. It, it's, it's, it's ridiculous at this point. The PPP program is ran so much smoother because the SBA doesn't process the loans. The EIDL program is an absolute mess. Do you know there are people that applied for EIDL loans from the original batch a year ago, one year ago, that never had an answer? Okay? Never. Now, that, you know, that's beyond, you know, I would have driven to Texas to get my answer between you and I, but there's still people that don't have their answer. So um, before I get into much more, let's take a look at a little bit of the SBA's, uh, what this shuttered, shuttered venue grant thing was through the SBA portal. Let's take a look at it. Now, in theory, this was a great idea. Here's a great reference tool directly from the SBA. They've had several different versions of this. You can see the most recent version of who's eligible. It's 40 pages long, and you can see who's eligible for this, who was supposed to get it, how they were supposed to get it, and read this for yourself. It's maddening because they changed the terms of this thing. And companies like mine that were eligible in the beginning are no longer eligible. I wonder if you are as well. Now, the program was pretty simple. If you were in operation from February 29th, 2020, you were eligible for this. If your business was then, you could apply for this. And again, two and a half months later after they say it was going to start, they finally get it going on April 8th and it completely crashes. Um, the SBA took to Twitter to announce um, that uh, you can get results and uh, updates there. Again, this is so pathetic. It's so wrong. And uh, again, guys, think about this. The EIDL money, people are languishing, going out of business. How would you like to have an event center that you've been waiting for this grant money? Okay. And you're never going to get it. I don't think people may get this. The big problem is the inspector general. Okay. The good guys in all this, they go through and they investigate things. They see serious problems with this. And the serious problems that they see is that there's no accountability once people get this money. So in other words, if you're, you know, hey, we're going to reopen and we get this money, there's really no follow through. There's no follow up. So you're going to see people get hundreds of thousands of dollars that won't have any responsibility for it. Now, my promise to everybody is that if one of my competitors that does the exact same thing I get gets a dollar, I'll sue everybody. That's that's what I'll do. So you're going to see this thing become a complete litigation festival because, again, when is it going to fund? Why is the SBA taking care of this? Uh, you know, they, they bragged about using Salesforce as their uh, registration portal, but it couldn't handle everybody registering. An absolute nightmare. So let's take a look at the Inspector General's report because it's here. Now, here's the Inspector General report where they're serious concerns about the SBA's control environment and tracking and performance results of the Shuttered Venue grant. They write this directly to Isabel Guzman on the 7th. It's written from Hannibal Ware. Goes through all the different white papers that they're concerned, all the problems that they've got $16 billion for these grants and how it's going to be disseminated. The beauty of this thing, this is eight pages long and the link is below in the video description so you guys can read this thing yourself. But this is a disaster waiting to happen. This is, you know, how the money is going to be disseminated, how the award amount is going to be done, suggestions that the inspector general had for the SBA. We'll see if any of this is even looked at. Now, here's the problem with this is that all this money, there's no audit program. These companies can get this. If a guy gets a grant for a couple hundred thousand, 300,000, he doesn't have to perform. He doesn't have to reopen his venue. So there's going to be people that are going to take this money and they're going to go to Bermuda or someplace with it and not necessarily open their event venue. Take a look at this. It's absolutely worth a good read. Now, in the SBA's defense, they have said 
we've never had a program like this before. And again, me as a business owner, you shouldn't be in charge of this. They were given $15 billion from the second stimulus package. The third one, the American Rescue Plan, added another $1.529 billion, so which made it $16 billion, guys, for this thing. There's $16 billion waiting for people to get this, and no one's getting it right now. Now, it'll eventually reopen, but again, this is absolutely disastrous. You've got all these different places around the country that have completely been destroyed as a result of this, and uh, let's see what happens, man. I, I, I don't think anything good's gonna come with this because, again, there's going to be a problem. The inspector general sure thinks there's going to be a problem. And again, what happens when somebody gets the money and somebody down the street doesn't and they were they were supposed to or they were a friend to somebody or something like that? Wouldn't you be angry? Wouldn't you sue for that? I'm sure there's going to be things like that that are going to happen. But again, this is the type of thing that the SBA should just administer and send to somebody else and have it processed through someone else. It shouldn't be processed through them. Now, people like Audrey Schaefer from the National Independent Venue Association has said this is going to be a lifeline for people. But again, delayed, it's not. You know, think about this. We've all been in situations when you're anticipating money for your business. You're going to get paid on Friday. Friday turns into the following Wednesday. It could be a disaster for some people. Well, imagine these venues that have been waiting, you know, months since this was announced and it's still not happening. This cannot get fixed fast enough. And again, it shouldn't be run by the SBA. Send it to one of the banks. The PPP is closing. They're running out of funds. The SBA blew that too and didn't tell everybody that they were running out of funds. But send this to those lenders to have them process it. Pay them a commission. Get it done. And you know what? The money will be disseminated in hours with them. Please take a second, like the video, please hit the subscribe button. Please share this with all your friends and colleagues. I will uh, give you guys more information as it comes out. But again, uh, if, you know, if you own a venue that is eligible for this, or you know somebody does, or you work for a venue that could have gotten this money and you're anticipating your job coming back, I'm sorry, okay? So hopefully they'll get this fixed in our lifetime. Good luck to you. I will see you guys very soon.